when they're asking you how many ions are, how, uh, which one produces four ions. So four ions per formula. If you look right here, SO4 counts as one piece. NH4 has a subscript of two. That has three total ions. If you look here, you have um, uh, calcium nitrate has two. Calcium has one, three ions. PO4 has one. And lithium has three. Therefore, D is the correct answer. What looks like the correct answer is Hg2Cl2. But remember, it's not written in lowest terms because H2, Hg comes as two atoms stuck together. Therefore, that can't be the correct answer. It's a weird exception, so that actually only counts as uh, uh, three ions. It's a weirdo. So if you see Hg2Cl2, you can pretty much just ignore it. It's not going to be an answer choice. This has six coming from this one four from there and one iron so that can't be your answer choice next one um, they give you this base CH3 NH2 remember a base reacts with water so when it ionizes it's going to react with water a base always takes an H from water it's going to end up right there creating OH minus and CH3 NH3 plus. So what you end up with is you end up with you end up with OH minus is a product and CH3 NH3 plus because you're adding a single H to it. So when it says one of the products of the ionization, you're looking for CH3 NH3 plus. The correct answer is D. It goes back to um, acid-base reactions. Which of the following compounds produces three ions per formula unit disassociation? Well, if you look right here, um, this one you have two HGs, one SO4. That's going to produce three ions right there. This is going to, if you split it, produces two. Split this, produces two. Split this, produces two. This one produces three. That's the problem with this. Oh, because it's that's the same thing. It's HG two but it's two plus so there's two it technically doesn't split into that's why it's so tricky it's mercury one again mercury one occurs as hg2 so the correct answer on this one should have been e but you probably looked at a and thought it would be correct because of the use of mercury mercury plus one comes stuck together as two mercury ions half reaction in acidic media how many electrons are you needed to balance it? So you're going to go NO3 3 minus is going to be equal on the other side to NH4 plus. So when you go to balance this, remember the first step is check elements. Nitrogens are good. Oxygens, I have three. So I add three waters on this side. That gives me a total of 10 H's because three times two, four. So then I add 10 H pluses onto this side. 10 H pluses. So then when I go to balance charge, I'm going to end up with a charge of 1 on this side, a charge of 9 on this side. And then I'm going to need to balance charge. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to add 8 electrons, which will reduce this overall charge to 1. 8 electrons on the left-hand side. D is your correct answer, and you have the overall half reaction is balanced. Which of the following ones processes represent a reduction? Uh, I talked to earlier in one of the videos talking about a reduction. Remember, the oxidation number drops. Key ones to remember are dichromate and chromate are pretty easy to spot. You can assign oxidation number to all these and go through. That is a precipitate reaction because you see the solid right there, so you can cancel that. Um, and then if you look here, this one, the number's actually going up. So if you look CRO4, when you go to do the oxidation number of this, this oxidation number is going to be 7. On the other side, it's going to be, because it's an ion, it's going to be 3+. plus. The definition of a reduction is the oxidation number decreases. You check the other ones are um, all going to be oxidations. The number's going to go up on some of the other ones. Uh, next one, half reaction, balance in acidic media. H2S, 2S. First step, oxygen's balanced. So second step, I add H's. Two H's on that side, H pluses. 
Third step after that is I balance charge. This side has a charge of zero. This is two plus, so I add two electrons on that side. And then my overall half reaction is balanced. So when they ask you how many electrons are needed, it's going to be two electrons on the right-hand side. When you go to balance charge, that's how you finish it. Um, let's see here. So I do that one. So the last one is this one. Half reaction, again, acidic media. Uh, how many electrons are needed to balance? So it's Cl, Cl2, O7, arrow, H, CLO. So first thing I have to do is put a 2 here. Remember other elements that will trip you up every time. So I balance Cl. Next thing is O. I have seven O's on this side. I have two here already. So I add five waters on this side. Then I have to balance H's. I have 10 there, five times two. Two there is 12. So I add 12 H pluses on the left-hand side. Next thing I need to do is balance charge. When I go to balance charge, this side has a charge of zero. This side has a charge of plus 12. So I must add 12 electrons on the left-hand side to bring this charge down to zero. They're now equal. And the correct answer is 12 electrons. Um, just remember for any redox balancing, be sure that you balance other elements first, then go through and balance everything else. That's um, a key part of it. That's the biggest thing in redox. People make the mistake. And then it's just counting. Count the O's, balance them. Count the H's, balance them, balance charge, and then simplify. All right? See you tomorrow.